Good morning. Today is Friday, March 10, 2023. I received a word from the Lord last night. I want to encourage all of you to test the spirit, to get into your prayer closet or onto your knees after this message and seek the Lord with your whole heart to either receive instruction from him, correction from him, rebuke from him, counsel from him, guidance from him. But most of all, I want you to ask for discernment and let him know which words um, you're paying attention to that are of him and are not of him. Okay, I don't expect you to take my word from it, for it. I want you to take it back to the Lord in prayer and also go into his word because that is where he's going to truly speak to you is through his word. So meditate on the scripture and he will make it plain what words are from him and what words are not. The Lord said to me yesterday, the shaking of many nations has begun. And then he said, rainfall at record numbers, dangerously high winds, toxic floodwaters, damaged homes, displaced people, homelessness, mudslides, five and six alarm fires, leaving behind complete destruction, derailed trains, warehouses catching on fire, propane spills, tornadoes destroying whole neighborhoods, hail the size of golf balls. What will it take to get my people's attention? What will it take for them to seek me? What will it take to break the pride that keeps them from humbling themselves? Was this a small thing in your eyes? Do you attribute this work to someone else? This is all the work of my hand. What happened in Brazil was a warning. Nothing compared to what I will do if they don't repent for to participating in such a blasphemous abomination, a parade glorifying Satan. Did you think I would overlook such blatant disrespect, such mockery, who is it that you mock? Will you laugh when I make your country a desolation, a wasteland, a shadow of its former self? Will you mock me then? Even after all this, you are unmoved. Your hearts have turned to stone. Have you no compassion? What am I to do with such a people? People who trample on and abuse my grace people who reject my gift and treat it as a common thing. Then he had me pull up John 15, 13. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man layeth down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command, but friendship with the world is enmity with me, and so you must make your choice. You cannot serve God and mammon. You will love one and hate the other. Choose this day whom you shall serve. The road to hell is broad and many are on it. But the road to eternal life is narrow and few find it. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name? And I will say, depart from me. You worker of iniquity, I never knew you. I never knew you. You only came to me when you needed help. You only looked for me when you were in trouble. But I was not worth your time. I was not worth your praise. I was not worth your sacrifice. And now you want something from me? You invest your time in many worthless things, but treat time with me as if it were a burden or a chore if only you knew with me is where your joy can be found. With me is where your peace can be found. With me is where your strength can be found. Apart from me, you are powerless. I will cry out one last time as a woman travails. When giving birth, I will cry for your pride. 
pride comes before destruction and haughtiness before a fall. But they that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Ooh.